because even studios now when they don't want to release Blu-rays, they don't want to release uh, copies of their uh, movies that they put on streaming or thing because they just want to all put all that money into streaming services. Hello, fellow followers, and welcome back to Fan Scene. And today, after you, Netflix keeps proving my point why physical media is the superior form of media. <laughs> and before we get into all this, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not against streaming services. I do have streaming services myself. I do have Netflix. I do have HBO Max. I have Shudder, which is one of my favorite streaming services. And it's pretty cheap and you get some really great, cool 80s horror movies and stuff on that, which you know I love. But I, like I said, streaming, I'm not against it. it. It does have its benefits. You know, you can sometimes find movies that you can't find on a physical copy. You can uh, also, you know, Maybe there's a movie out there that you just want to watch. You don't really want to own, you just want to watch. So it helps in that regard. And uh, I think the problem is a lot of the newer content on uh, all these streaming services, which is what's uh, uh, killing these streaming services, or, well, hurting them real bad. I don't know if killing them because they're here to stay for pretty much forever now. But if you haven't heard about what's going on with Netflix, let's cover some of the stuff that's going on with Netflix, and we'll get into all this. Co-founder Reed Hastings has said for years that he doesn't want to offer advertising and had no problems with password sharing. But the company is changing course after losing 200,000 customers in the first, first quarter, the first time it has shed subscribers since 2011. Netflix also projected it will shrink by another 2 million customers in the current second quarter, a huge setback for a company that regularly grew by 25 million subscribers or more a year. Netflix also will curb its spending on films and TV shows in response to the customer losses. Allowing consumers who would like to have lower prices and are ad tolerant makes a lot of sense, Hastings said Tuesday. Netflix will explore the best way to offer advertising over the next couple of years. Cracking down on password sharing is a risk for a company that started by giving customers a cheaper, more convenient alternative to cable. By nudging customers to pay and inserting advertising, Netflix begins to resemble what it replaced. As you can see there, there's a lot to take in with that. Like with the loss of 200,000 subscribers, now they're considering adding uh, ad plans where you can, which would probably lower your price of your Netflix if you chose a plan with ads. But this is a company that, like it said, it started off saying that they would never add ads to their service. You know, they wanted to provide entertainment. And if, you know, if I'm honest, I personally, I just prefer cable. I really do. I know there's so many uh, great shows and stuff that can be found on these streaming services, but for every like uh, Cobra Kai um, or uh, Stranger Things or some cases, some people like The Witcher, um, there's so much crap in between that you have to wait through. There's so much content. So it's content, not entertainment, and that they keep putting out there. So that's one of the reasons why I do believe, you know, they were losing so many subscribers and they're considering this plan. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things going on in the world too that they also sort of shut themselves in the foot with Netflix did and that's caused them some problems. And the world is different now than it was, say, during the pandemic. People are starting to get out more. So there's that to take into account. But there's also like I read this, uh, this, this quote from somebody um, online that said that so many people signed up for these streaming services and they consumed all the older content, uh, the older entertainment, I should say, because like older movies like 80s, 90s, all that. And then the new stuff is lacking. And yes, the new stuff is lacking. And I think that's one of the biggest problems besides so many other factors uh, of why so many people are turning out. And like even even Elon Musk, whether you love him or hate him, he, he said this. He said that wokeness is uh, the, you know, the virus that's killing things. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, but I'll throw up the... Uh, Here's the tw tweet that he put out. But yes, I agree. I don't talk a lot about this, but wokeness is uh, killing a lot of entertainment. It's killing a lot of our modern day entertainment, ki killing so many things. It's destroying our franchises that w so many of us loved from Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, and so, so many countless others. It's just being injected into so much stuff with so much wokeness, so much messaging. And it is a problem. It is a problem. And it doesn't mean that wokeness can't tell a great story or have great characters. It's just the way they're doing it is it's not working and it's it's pointless and um i think that's a huge problem with these streaming services because uh just, just to wade through all this content 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 of wokeness and just to find the one or two gems here and there is it's, it's getting tedious and uh you know not only that this you know with what's going on with netflix here they lost uh 35 percent in their stock that dropped you you know that was a bad day on wednesday for them as well too not only you know after they announced they lost their subscribers they dropped in the stock market so it's it's looking bad for netflix and this is why i say buy physical media uh purchase your blu-rays your dvds your vhs's 
services, get what you want, uh, because not only do uh, the streaming services are having problem with this and pushing all their new content, uh, they're editing stuff out of old movies and uh they're putting warning labels on them and they're just you never know if one's going to one movie you want to watch is going to be on this streaming service or another streaming service there's rights issues and everything and some some movies are being lost because they're never getting that jump from vhs from beta to vhs to <laughs> uh dvd blu-ray and all that and i know i keep saying this and one of the best ways to get your point across is repeat and also with everything that's going on with netflix and everything it's starting to affect other streaming services so let's go over this real quick Investors have begun to question whether some of these media companies will sign up enough customers to justify all the money they are spending on fresh programming. Disney fell as much as 5.2% in extended trading after Netflix reported its outlook, while Warner Brothers Discovery Inc., the owner of HBO Max, declined as much as 2.8%. Shares of Roku Inc., the maker of set-top boxes for streaming, dropped as much as 8.3%. Now it's starting to affect all these other streaming services, and I, I would say that these streaming services are going to have an uphill battle because uh, there's not a lot of cut stuff on Disney Plus for for uh, me that I like, anyways. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on there for people out there, but once again, like it's the newer stuff, it's the the injection of messaging, the injection of wokeness, it's uh, the fact that so many people are sort of getting tired of this, and and like I said, there's I believe that's so, why so many people like myself and on YouTube and out there have started to cover and talk more about um, older stuff, older movies 80s 90s 60s 70s 50s stuff uh because it's just it's something that we love it's something that we grew up with it's something that we can hold on to that was entertaining it had character it had story it had creativity it wasn't uh about uh content or how much uh people can i sign up for a streaming service uh how many uh movies can I make in a, a year for these people to watch or TV shows and that I can just pump out because like I've said before there's so many movies and TV shows being greenlit for content that normally wouldn't have never been greenlit uh, at all <laughs> or they would have been worked on and then eventually made down the line and uh, and we're losing stuff because of that and uh, it's just it's just physical media is my passion and I'm so grateful for things like uh, Shout Factory Blu-rays Blu and uh, Vinegar Syndrome and uh, you know, so many have talked about criteria and everything because these companies are keeping physical media alive. They're producing so many great discs because even studios now, when they don't want to release Blu-rays, they don't want to release uh, copies of their uh, movies that they put on streaming. I think because they just want to all put all that money into streaming services and not so much make discs because it's costly. They have to make special features. They got to make these discs, get to produce them and everything, which sucks because, uh, we're, like once again, we're going to lose movies. We're going to lose things because they don't want to put them out on disc and. Because you never, like, like I said, you never know how long these streaming services are going to last, or what's going to be kept on, and what's going to be taken away, what's going to be changed, what's going to be edited. So uh, just buy your physical media, keep your streaming services if you want to, keep watching what you want. I'm not saying to cancel them or anything like that, but it looks like they're going to have a little bit of a struggle right now. And personally, there's nothing better than to have a, a personal copy of your favorite movie or seeing a movie in a theater and and with a bunch of cool people and, and experiencing something that you truly love. It, it's not always about looking at your phone and watching a movie or TV show, looking at your TV, watching a movie or TV show, which is fun. And that's fun, especially with a physical media copy. But the streaming services have changed everything so drastically that it's just, I don't know, I just don't know anymore. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just support physical media. I keep telling you this, share it out, hashtag it, whatever, hashtag support physical media. Buy your copies of physical media. Enjoy your movies. Enjoy your entertainment the way you like, the way you want. Uh you know, and if you feel like you need to cancel Netflix and all that, do that. Do it. Do it. I'm not, you know, if you feel like you want to keep it, keep it. It's up to you guys. But I'm just saying, uh, streaming services aren't always what they promised us when we first signed up for them. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section down below. I would like to hear your thoughts on this and interact with you guys. Uh, you know, it's, you know, there's so many different opinions that you can have on this. So let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share the video out for everybody to see. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Wherever you guys are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Godspeed.